what is it good guys i'm here with more spl unfortunately i'm gonna bring you a replay of blunder versus i am Jinji, because my internet decided to crash a few minutes before the match started that was really disappointing um yeah i didn't even see the match live i already saw this replay once so i kind of know what's going on we will just get right into the match um blunder's team is like up 3 and 0 with the the wolf pack. I think Jinji is on the wolf pack if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, yeah, Jinji is on the wolf pack for sure. And Jinji decides to bring a team which looks like anti stall. So maybe he predicted Blana to bring stall because he has a Lele and a Hooper, which could be like one of those could be Z moves. But yeah, we will just get right into the match as Coco brings a uh, Blana brings a Kelio in 2017, which is pretty interesting. Okay, Blunder leads up with Ferrothorn as uh, Gingy leads up with Rotom and Blunder um, dodges a Wilbur's turn 1. Guts uh, knocked off the lefties from the Rotom, which is a pretty cool set alike. Knock off Ferrothorn to beat upholding Ferrothorn. Uh, Gingy hits the second with Blunder, gets up Brox. And at this point, I wasn't sure if Blunder was a uh, double hazard Ferrothorn, but it turns out um, he, he knocks off again here, predicting the Mantine, I think. Yeah. And he gets rid of the lefties on the Ferrothorn on Jinji's side. And I think Blunder goes for a spike here. Yeah, it turns out he's double hazard Ferrothorn. I didn't know that at the beginning. Jinji just gets up rocks. And I think Blunder uh, knocks off here, predicting Jinji to switch out, but he just stays in for some reason. I get Blunder's play, it makes sense. Jinji just goes for Lee there. And I think Blunder just gets up the second spike here, because he's like, yeah, if you're letting me get up hazards, yeah, okay, I'm getting up hazards. As uh, Jinji reveals the knockoff, so they're both running knockoff Ferrothorn, which is like, I like that set a lot. As Blunder says, we are both amazing, I gotta say this. He goes hard Landris here, uh, gets knocked off, but he's Z move Landris, so he doesn't lose an item. And uh, Jinji goes hard Lele here, predicting him to SD, or. Uh, yeah, I think he predicted him to SD, which is pretty nice. And here this play is pretty interesting. Blunder switches out, saving his Landris, and he goes Pharaoh, sacks the Pharaoh off. And he says in the chat uh, that he had clicked Greninja, but he was like too scared and he cancelled the play. Yeah, here, yeah, bro, I had Ninja clicked, but I'm a pussy as well. I had it clicked as well. <laughs> That's unfortunate. As Jinji switched into Rotom, I don't really know why he switched out. Okay, yeah, I know why he switched out. He was locked into a Psy Shock and he didn't want uh, Blunder going Ninja and he went into Rotom. I think his Rotom is Spadaf. As uh, Blunder sacks of his Pharothorn. Brings out Coco and he tries to bluff him here. He won't go hard Landris. So he's trying to make Jinji not go Landris and he just T-bolts. But Jinji still goes Landris. Jinji U turns out. Blunder predicts that pretty nice play. I think he just goes for a Dazzling Gleam here. And the Ferro is really low. It turns out it's live of Coco. I don't really like that set because he gets chipped way too fast. But then again, it does really good damage. Uh, Jinji just goes back into Landris. I think on Hidden Power Fire, yeah. I was about to say, is that HPS? Now it's in Power Fire. As, as Blunder predicts him to U-turn again, but Stone Edge picks it off. Oh, he wasn't sure. He he, he thought uh, that uh, Coco would live an Edge. Goes on to Malagross. Um, I assume this is like... He's just gonna go for a mash. As, okay, he goes for Thunder Punch. Wait, what? That was so risky. It was a lander without even for Thunder Punch. I guess Blunder's a god. He predicted him to either go Rotom or Mantine or Sack Pharaoh. As Jinji bluffs a uh, Scarf Hooper, and he's not Scarf Hooper, and Blunder just kills him with Mash. I don't really understand this play from uh, Jinji's part, and I feel like Jinji was like, yeah, he was trying to bluff the Scarf, but I don't really think Scarf Hooper is a good set, so there was no way Blunder would fall for that. And I also think um, Blunder couldn't afford, uh, like I guess Blunder couldn't afford to switch out because it could be like Z Snatch or Z Trick. I think he said he was. Z trick. Uh, I think Z snatch gives you a speed boost. I don't remember what Z trick does though. As, okay, so Blunder picks off the Hooper with the Mega Mesh and Jinji brings in a Landris next. Is he like Scarf Lando? Blunder goes hard Kelio on an Earthquake. That does a ton, so this is probably Scarf Kelio. Blunder doubles out predicting the Mantine, I assume. Gets the Mantine, pretty nice play on the side, and like Jinji is like put in a bad position now, and he can go for Continental Crush here or Stone Edge. 
Like we already know this is Z move because uh, it got knocked off earlier and didn't lose the item. He just goes for Continental Crush, picks off the Tabu Lele. Those Hellards are also putting in some work with the Jinji's team. The Rotom comes in now and I feel like Blunder goes hard Ninja here. Like, yeah, I already saw this replay but when I was watching this I was like, yeah, he's probably gonna go Ninja because there's no way Jinji Hydro Pumps here. Like, uh, Jinji either Hydro Pumps but I mean there's... God, why, why can I not speak? I meant there is no way Jinji would go for um, Volt Switch on a Lando. He's either going for Wisp or he's going for Hydro. So that's why Greninja was like, okay, it was like an okay play to make. And here Blunder goes for Dark Post and it only does 39.5 and he's like Specs. And he's like, wow, why why did that not kill? Ninja is bad. <laughs> so he goes for Pain Split, gets enough health to live another one. And I think he just Dark Pulse us again here. This is pretty funny, the Dark Pulse actually does like more to... Uh, it almost does the same to Mantine than it does to Rotom because it's like Spadef Rotom and probably like more Fistef Mantine as yeah, the Dark Pulse Twit kills the Mantine or Mantine, however you want to pronounce it. I love to like to pronounce it Mantine because Padlop doesn't like that and I want to troll my dude Padlop. So yeah, it's Spex Ninja, he gets his Ash, uh, he gets his Battle Bond, switches out on the Scarf Landris that just goes for Earthquake. And he's just locked into Earth because the Blunder is just in a really good position. He can go for like SD, he can go for Stone Edge, he just goes for Stone Edge, picks off the Rotom. And uh, Jinji just loses this because he cannot lock himself into a move that beats everything. Green Ninja also has Water Shuriken in the back, locks himself into HPIs. And Blunder just clicks uh, Water Shuriken. Oh, he doesn't even click Water Shuriken, he eats up an HPIs, <laughs> goes for Ice Beam. So he was Ice Beam over U-turn or Ice Beam over Water Shuriken, but I assume he was Ice Beam over U-turn. And yeah, Blunder takes this game pretty convincingly, I think 4-0? 3-0. So yeah, this was like a really quick game. Um, not that disappointed that I missed it because it wasn't the best game, but uh, it was like still a bit annoying that I missed it. I hope you guys still enjoy this even though it's only a replay. I mean, it's only 7 minutes and 30 seconds, so it's not gonna take that long to upload this but I still gonna have to make a thumbnail but I love to make uh, thumbnails and they look clean as hell um, yeah I will see you guys with more SBL thank you for watching no reason to prolong this anymore Dokuch is signing out peace and the Wolfpack are like they're getting destroyed completely they are 0-2 at the moment like they lost the two first two weeks and they are 0-4 versus the Runas in this series in week 3 so yeah this is looking bleak for Wolfpack they're probably not gonna make playoffs but we shall see, you never know, um, everything is possible. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, peace.